that Suranish Kapoor, known for work such as Orbit, erected in 2012, and towering over London's Olympic Park, or Cloud Gate, affectionately known as The Bean in Chicago, says he's always been a painter. Next week, he's launching a series of paintings created before and during the pandemic at London's Listen Gallery. Katie Razzle went to meet him in his studio in South London to see some of his latest work. I'm showing uh, at, at uh, the Listen Gallery uh, a series of paintings, mostly, that I've made over the last three, four years. But I've been making painting. My practice, in a way, lies in between painting and sculpture, like these things. Um, and I've been making paintings, one way or another, for the last, I don't know, 30, 40 years, a long time. Um, but I've never put them in the public or very rarely put them in the public realm. I feel now that they've taken, either they've taken or I've taken a little step, um, and it's time to, to, to put them in the world. I know you've started this paint, these paintings and this work you know, three or four years ago, but you've continued it through us all experiencing this pandemic, which is ongoing. I wonder whether that's reflected at all. The pandemic, this period of enforced um, both fear, um, uncertainty, unknowing, um, um, has put us all in a position where we have to um, um, reflect on what really matters in life. Um, but uncertainty and fragility are key, I, I, I insist. I suppose aside from COVID, the biggest news story in recent weeks is what's happening in Afghanistan. Yeah. Do you respond to that story as an artist as well of as a course, human? Of course. Um, the Kabul Museum has some true wonders. It is, has to be our mission to save those objects. Um, just the ivories, they're rather small, but they were collected here, believe it or not, the first time the Taliban came around, came, came into power given to the British Museum and returned to Afghanistan. Here they are now, um, heartbreaking, heartbreaking. You know, so cultural heritage, the plight of women, the, oh, Christ Almighty, what a terrible abandonment. I mean, I suppose that story, some people might take that story to be an argument against restitution. You know, that actually we shouldn't be giving Objects back <laughs> to places. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, restitution, of course, complicated subject because it, it really depends on the situation. Um, but there was no reason, you know, 10 years ago or more, 10 years ago, there was no reason to believe really that um, these objects wouldn't have a, 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 a continuing life in the Kabul Museum after all. But that's also where they belong. You know, a big thing at the moment in the art world is NFTs, non-fungible tokens, yeah. this way of owning art digitally. Yeah. Have yeah. you got into that? NFTs puzzle me because um, it's as if it's another marketing tool. Now, I'm no expert on this, but um, um, the fact is that anyone can view an NFT of whatever kind, um, but only one person can own it. Well. Since it's all viewed digitally, why would I want to own it? I'll view it. No, thanks. You know, I mean, so I don't get it, to be quite honest. Um, I'm probably just old-fashioned and boring. But Is art just how we respond to it? So me going in and, you know, the message I take from your work is obviously different from what somebody else takes because okay. it's how I respond to it based on my own okay. idiosyncrasies. Okay. In speaking about having nothing to say, um, I'm, it's, it's true, I have nothing to say. Because if I had, then you'd get it and it's done and so you don't need to look at the work. Um, but there is a, something else that occurs, which is something we call um, content. Content. It's not nothing. It's a very real thing. Um, so I was making this painting here. I was thinking about a sky and a, a landscape and then this sort of dark cavern occurred to me. How it occurred, why it occurred, I have no idea. It occurred to me. And I began to clothe it 
in what is very obviously something, at least bodily, if not more than just bodily. I began to think that what I'm trying to enact here is a kind of primal sacrifice. Thank you so much. Sorry, it's really lovely to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Real pleasure to talk with you, Katie. Thank you.